Good day. For this video lesson, we are going to discuss about measures of position for group data. So we are going to use this formula where L is the lower boundary, N is the total frequency, uh, CW for class width, CF for cumulative frequency of the preceding class, F for frequency of the class, and K for nth quartile. So I is for if it, the unknown is quartiles, uh, pen if the unknown is deciles, and 100 if the unknown is percentile. So this is the formula. We have L, uh, we're going to add over uh, KN over I minus CF all over frequency, um, times the class width. So for our first example, we have to find the first quartile. So the scores of grade 10 students in math quiz. So their scores are from 21 to 25. Uh, the frequency is 2. So 2 uh, students uh, ranges the scores from 21 to 25. We have 26 to 30, 9 students, 31 to 35, 13 students, 36 to 40, 11 students, 41 to 45, 10 students, and 46 to 50, we have 5 students. So for the cumulative frequency, uh, we start uh, from the 21 to 25. So we're just going to copy the frequency which is 2, and um, to get it, we're just going to add the next frequency, which is 9. So 9 plus 2 is 11, and uh, so on there. And then we're going to get the lower boundary. How do we get that? We're just going to uh, subtract 0. 0.5, for example, 21. So here 21 minus 0.5 so it will become 20.5 so we're just going to do it with the rest there and now we're going to solve it that's our solution so uh we have one times 50 over four one that's the first quartile that's what that's the unknown and the 50 is the frequency and all over 4 because uh, it's a quartile and the answer is 12.5 so we're going to look uh, where the 12.5 belongs here in the cumulative frequency so it is in the range of uh, the 24 but we are gonna get the uh, 11 because we said earlier the preceding class we're gonna get 11 for the cumulative frequency and then the lower boundary is 30.5 the frequency is 13 and the class width is 5 next that's how we solve it so 30.5 um, we have 12.5 minus 11 over 13 times 5. So this is what we got. Um, 1.5 over 13. And 30.5 plus 0 0.58 is equals to 31.08. That's our um, answer for the first quartile. For the second example the same but this time we have to find the fourth decile so 80 randomly selected light bulbs were tested to determine their lifetimes in hours so we have this time we start at uh, the top uh we have 53 to 63 uh 64 to 74 75 to 85 86 to 96 97 to 107 108 to 108 so our frequency is uh and this is the solution we're going to use we're gonna look for the fourth decimal there so now it's now four because the unknown is a decile and 80 is the frequency and then 10 because again it's decile so 
4 times 80 over 10 is 32. So we're going to look for uh, the cumulative frequency where 32 is going to fit. So um, we're going to get... Um, it's, it belongs in the 43, but again, we're going to get the preceding class. So we, we're going to get 18 for the cumulative frequency. And for the lower boundary, we're going to get 74.5 frequencies, 25. And cumulative, uh, I mean, sorry, class width is 11. So that's how we're going to uh, solve it. 32 minus 18. 32 is from the... Uh, first solving solution uh, 18 is the cumulative frequency and 25 is the frequency and then 74.5 um, plus parentheses uh, 14 over 25 close parentheses times 11 and we have 74.5 plus 6.16 the answer is 80.66, so that's our answer for the second example. And for our last and third example, we have to find the 70th percentile, so still same um, scores and frequency, but different this time, different uh, solution because we're going to use 70 and 100. So 70 times 80 over 100 is 56, so that's... What we're going to look for in the cumulative frequency. And we're going to get 43 for the cumulative frequency. Lower boundary is 85.5. Frequency is 18. And again, class width is 11. So we have 85.5. So 56 minus 43 over 18 times 11. We have 13 over 18. 85.5 plus 7.94 is... 93.44 so that's the answer for our uh, third example for the 70th percentile so that is all i hope you learned something thank you for listening